Welcome back to the party, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about identifying albinos from your litters, from your or when you're trying to purchase a snake or pick out keepers for yourself. First, we're looking at Sahara. Sahara is a hypo head albino, and you can see what we're looking at is for the scales that are popping out. They're basically like albino scales in places where they're not supposed to be. So you're not really looking for see this like at the side sometimes you'll see light spots at the side and that's okay but what we're really looking for is something like this where the scales are out of place and they're light and they're basically yellow they're albino so you're seeing albino kind of shining through and this is a snake that is a hundred percent head for albino so we know she's carrying albino and we see her with the spots <coughs> this is poa and he's Annery, Het Snow, so he's carrying albino also. And we can see these kind of random albino scales on him. And both of these animals have proven out. They basically were the first snakes I ever bred. So I got albinos in there and I didn't even know that they were head albinos. So it was quite a nice surprise. This is something that you... Um, Technically, it's just like with super salmons. We're not supposed to sell anything as a super salmon until proving it out because sometimes animals that look like they're carrying the genes aren't and sometimes animals that don't look like they're carrying the genes are. But the two things that I'll look for is pick out the brightest animal and look for these scales. So this is another one you see. She's very bright. She hasn't been proven out. She's 66% het albino. But if you look at the spots on her body, you can see these light random scales. And she's small, so they're very little, but as she gets older, they'll get a bit bigger. And when they're very young, it's hard to kind of see these. So you almost have to wait about half a year and then you start seeing these spots coming out. Here we have Naomi. She was the brightest ghost from a litter a couple years ago. And she's just super bright. So once again, you look at the side, you see the white scales, and that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the random scales on top that kind of stand out and say, oh look, there's an albino scale shining through. I hope this helps you. Hopefully you're able to put it to use. Let me know if you check out some of your head albinos and notice light scales on them. If you enjoyed this, please, you know, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to learn more about some of the genetics and how they work, click on the first video. It's my genetic playlist. Otherwise, check out the second video.